oh boy, here we have all these different drill bits that we got to try to figure something out. And of course, for every one of our projects that we're going to do, we need to know exactly what type of drill bit we're going to use, and then of course what speed and feed we're going to run that drill bit in the drill press at. So first we need to get to know a little bit about what the actual drill bits are. And of course, you see here, we've got lots of different sizes of drill bits. Now here in the Woods Lab and in building construction, all of our drill sizes are going to be fractions of an inch. So we'll have a one half, in, a half inch drill bit size, we'll have a quarter inch and a three quarter inch drill bit, uh, then, of course, we go down from there into the uh, eighths, so we'll have a one-eighth drill size drill bit, a three-eighths, a five-eighths, and a seven-eighths drill bit. We can still go even farther if we go next, it's the sixteenth, so we'll have a one-sixteenth, a three-sixteenth, a five-sixteenth, a seven-sixteenth, a nine-sixteenth, a eleven-sixteenth, a thirteen-sixteenth, and a fifteen-sixteenth drill bit. We're still not done yet. There's still more fractional sizes of drill bits. Now we're going to go into the 32nd. So we got a 132nd drill bit, a 332nd drill bit, a 532nd drill bit, a 732nd drill bit. You get my point? All the way up to a 3132nd drill bit. Guess what, guys? We're still not done. We could also get drill bits in a 64. So we could get a 164. 364th, 564th, all these different fractions of an inch drill bit. We end up, just in fraction sizes alone, we end up with 64 different sizes of drill bits that cover the fractions of the inch. That's the only thing that we're going to use in the woods class. Now, of course, if you're getting into metalworking or becoming a machinist, or uh, even in the automotive industry, if you're um, going to be working on car parts, then you need to know that there's also what they call letter drills and number drills out there. And those are all of your decimal point sizes. So we've got a lot of different types of drill bits uh, there, and we haven't even really talked about the metric system and metric drill bit sizes, So, which is okay. We don't need to worry about that here in a building and construction class because we're just sticking solely with fractions of an inch. But once we know all those, we also have to know what some of the different types of drill bits are. So the most basic and common drill bit is the twist drill. And you see here, uh, we've got the point, the flute, and the shank of the twist drill. It comes to 120 degree, usually it's 120 degree or 118 degree tip on here. And a spiral flute that helps with the chip or the wood chip or the wood sawdust to come out as you're drilling, putting that through. So we need to know about a twist drill. Now, twist drill can be used to cut metal. It can use to be cut wood, plastics, certain types of um, plexiglass, other types of material. And as you can see here, uh, it comes with a couple of different types. This is a coated drill bit. This is just your high-speed steel drill bit. So you've got a couple of different choices there with your twist drills. Now, I'm going to remove all of these twist drills and get those out of the way because we've talked about them already. The next one that we have that I want to talk about is called a brad point drill bit. This is really useful in woodworking, and actually woodworking is the only, uh, our wood is the only one that we're going to use a brad point on. It comes to that real sharp, sharp point, and again, you know, the purpose of that is so that when we've got like our boards, uh, we can line that point right up, and it makes it real easy for us to find the center on our board when we're drilling holes in wood. Downside of this drill bit uh, is that that point isn't very strong. So we can't use this for other materials like metal. As if you tried to drill a hole in metal with this, you're just going to either burn that tip off or break it off, and that's no good. So this isn't cut uh, metal. This will only cut wood. So, And again, this is called a brad point drill bit. Now, we'll get those put away out of here, and we'll talk about the next drill bit that we have and that's called our spade drills. Notice here the sizes are actually written right there on the spade drill. So I got a 916 spade drill, 1116 spade drill, and a one inch spade drill. These are all flat. These are nice for getting uh, really large holes and they go up to uh, a lot bigger hole diameters that we can use these spade drills. Couple of things to distinguish these. Uh, for one thing, we've got a rule in the lab. We will never use a spade drill in our handheld power drill. These things have a tendency to kind of grab and pull. Um, 
So the only time we're going to use a spade drill will be to use it in the actual drill press. I don't want to see anybody using a spade drill with the handheld drill just so that we don't get hurt and uh, we practice safety. These grab and pull a little bit more when you're actually cutting the wood because really sometimes they they kind of tear the wood more than actually cut it a little bit but they're really good and efficient for drilling large size holes so we got the spade drill. Another way to get really big holes is these here. These are called a hole saw so you've got to know about your hole saws. So, and again they get to be really large diameter as well. Again these will only be used to cut wood as well. Both the spade drill and the hole saw are only cut wood. There are some types of plastics that we might be able to cut with it, um, but for the most part this is mainly a wood uh, cutting tool to drill holes as well. Now there's a couple of distinctions. What you want to know as far as when you might want to use the spade drill over the hole saw. Well, as you notice the hole saw uh, has this opening. Hole saw we use if we want to have the material inside the hole and use that for something else. So for example, if we're going to drill out little round parts like this, these are our O's for tic-tac-toe board by the way, uh, we could use the hole saw and we'll go halfway through and then come back and go the other halfway and that gives us a nice uh, O for our tic-tac-toe boards. So, so we want to use the hole saws when we want the material to be used for inside the hole to be used for something else. If we don't care about that material on the side of the hole, well then we can just use the spade drill because that's just going to cut and reduce all of the material inside the hole to sawdust and wood chips. So that would be these two holes, uh, drills, and when we would want to use those. Now, lastly, this drill bit is also one that we want to be aware of. Notice that this has a real high spiral flute and we got these carbide tipped uh, drill bit on it. This is a masonry drill bit. Masonry drill bits are used to drill in concrete, uh, stone, cement, uh, any masonry type product. Uh, concrete is another one uh, and we would want to use a masonry bit to do that. That carbide tip is really a uh, very strong material and we'll cut through that hole as well. So those are the different types of drill bits that we're going to use in this class. Make sure you get familiar with each of them and which one we will need to use and for what application we have that to be used in. So thanks for watching. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, come talk to me in class.